Who's that? Yeah! Wilkie Collins is a great storyteller, 19th century Victorian yarn spinner. Um, and he wrote, he kind of invented the novel of sensation. Hold your tongue, I'm going to... No! Where am I? <laughs> I like working in the studio because you have total control of, uh, of everything you do. You want one dead area which, which has almost no reverb or, or echo to it, so that it's much easier to lay uh, layers of, of outside um, acoustics. <laughs> The way we can find sound effects, you can actually go direct to the computer and basically pull it out and, and place it where I want to in the in the uh, in the audio. For the exterior scenes, we have a microphone in a slightly deader area of the studio. For the indoor scenes, we have a bit of a wooden floor to make the acoustic different. So this is a basic stereo microphone, and I would ask my cast to disport themselves around the microphone. Obviously, if you want an intimate scene, you ask the actors to get as close as possible. Oh, good God, what's the matter with you? Your what is there to cry about? And before a visitor, too. This is very top heavy with narration, this particular drama. I passed the two days in a state of gloomy apprehension, riding out into the country, avoiding my family, and oppressed by the burden of deceit towards them that hung heavy on my heart. I'm using a mono mic because I, I want all I want is a single voice as close into my head as possible. With radio, you can transfer the internal workings of a character simply by allowing your protagonist or character to talk to the microphone. Radio does internal thought very well. You have an initial level for the microphone which is set up here and then the signal comes down through some equalizers which are effectively glorified tone controls so I can add a little bit of extra brightness or bass if I want to to the sound um, and then finally into these faders. Each of these pairs of microphones uh, then gets sent to our recording medium, Pro Tools. I personally don't like doing recordings on location. I, for example, have recorded uh, a play on the Isle of Skye before, uh, but the, the play had to have lots of storms, so all we ended up doing was coming back and put stor storms on. Yeah, I think um, radio is much closer uh, to uh, film than it is to theatre. It, it creates such, uh, such pictures, uh, and you have your short little scenes. Um, and I think some of the most successful radio I've heard has been um, adaptations of movie scripts. I log each take and for example here we've had three different takes and I log sequentially and then I make a note here as to what each take is related to on this page in the script. Jerry, have we, do we still have rehearsal skirts? It's just a joy to get into that room and create lots of different worlds and different sound effects. <coughs> Clara, you are my dearest friend in all the world. Of course, I promise. I shall miss you. Write to me. Never be afraid of the actor. Uh, you've cast them because you think they're good to begin with. So assume that they want to give you their best. So never be afraid to tell them and ask them to do something again. They will always do it. You don't have to look like the character. And uh, you, you just got so much more fun with doing characters, characters that you would never, ever be cast for. Radio is actually the only time you can do that. Listen to some radio plays, see who produced them, uh, track them down in the, within the BBC uh, and write them a letter uh, or even, you know, send them an email or a phone call saying, will you look at my script? Radio welcomes new writers. I'll take a handful, put it in here and just do that as one layer and then do another layer against the paving stone mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. and then another layer against yeah, skin. Ready. Who's there? Yeah! Ah! 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 In all other media, we're given what, we're, what we need to see or hear. In this medium, you imagine so much in your head, which makes it very powerful. Oh, you do better than that? No. It's pretty good, isn't it? <laughs> very good. I mean, I don't That's know if the, um, yeah, that is.